It seems more and more things are illegal every day. I don't want to do the wrong thing by breaking laws. Most of the time it is not wrong to break laws. Laws are not a good way to judge if something is right or wrong. If you don't judge right and wrong by what is legal or illegal, how do you know if it is right or wrong to do something? Well, one good way is to see if it violates the zero aggression principle. The what? The zero aggression principle. Sometimes it is just called the zap. I have never heard of that. It is simple. It is the cornerstone of libertarianism and it says, no human being has the right, under any circumstances, to initiate force against another human being, nor to advocate or delegate its initiation. It was put into the particular form by L. Neil Smith. What does it mean? No one has the right to initiate force against anyone else, no one has the right to threaten to initiate force against any innocent person, and no one has the right to send other people to initiate force for him. Initiate force? What do you mean by that? It means to attack someone. What if they attack you first? Are you expected to just sit there and take it? Of course not. Fighting back is self-defense and is not an attack. An attack is when someone uses force against a person who is not attacking or stealing from someone else. Oh. So don't be the person who starts the fight, but if you are attacked you can fight back. Yes, but only if the other person has become physical. You should not hit someone who just calls you names. Okay that makes sense, but I've never heard it put that way before. Is this really a pretty new idea? No, it isn't a new idea at all. Many other cultures throughout history have said the same thing in different ways. Really? Like what? Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Or, and it harm none, do as thou wilt. That's just a couple of examples, but wise people have always lived by that one rule. It's really the only rule dealing with aggression that is ever needed. Isn't that utopian? Other people might not respect your rule. That's why the zap works so well. It doesn't depend on the cooperation of bad guys, since it tells you how to deal with them if they ignore the rule and attack you anyway. I know from experience that it works for real in everyday life. I have never heard of a situation where it would be the right thing to attack someone. Nor have I ever run into a situation where this app failed to work unless someone actively stopped it from working through a legalized monopoly of force. Who could do that? The only bullies who can maintain a monopoly of force using laws. Government. They pass counterfeit laws that try to regulate or control things that do not involve aggression, theft, or fraud. And they back up that interference with an endless supply of armed aggressors to make sure you either comply or die. This causes great harm to society. Government's very existence violates the zero aggression principle. I see. You mentioned before that the zap is the only rule needed for dealing with aggression. Would there be another rule for dealing with other forms of antisocial behavior? Stuff that does not involve physical attack? Sure. Don't steal or defraud others. Or, as I often say, don't steal or initiate deception. If you must lie to a bad person to keep the innocent from being hurt, you are not violating this because you are not initiating the deception. Once again you are acting in defense of the innocent. As long as you don't attack, steal, or defraud anyone, you are probably being a fairly decent person. What if you decide you have no choice but to throw the first punch? Maybe you really believe someone is planning to attack you and you wouldn't survive long enough to fight back. What do you do then? Then you do what you feel you must, and face the consequences of your actions, while remembering that you had no right to do what you did. Like a preemptive military strike? That would be one very questionable example. Almost all military action is aggressive in nature, and governments always lie about that fact. Mostly I am talking about individual people using physical force on a person who is attacking no one but is in danger of being harmed if no one steps in. Can you give me an example? It is an act of initiating force to shove a person out of the path of an oncoming train. You have no right to do it, but most people will take the chance that the person they shove is not trying to kill themselves and will be grateful. If not, you could arrest restitution. Most of us would think it is worth the risk. 
and most of us would forgive that kind of force being used on us. Yes, we would. What if someone offends me? Or does something else that upsets me but doesn't involve physical force? Is that aggression? No. It might not be very nice, but it is not aggression and doesn't justify a physical response. The zap sounds very easy to live by. And I can see how it would improve life as more people begin to understand and live by it. Yes, it really does work well. Give it a try. You won't regret it.